Since its inception, FullTiltPoker.net has been synonymous with poker excellence. We are the home to true champions like Phil Ivey, Chris Ferguson, Howard Lederer, and Eric Seidel. Just a few of our players who have proved their abilities by winning multiple rings, bracelets, and tens of millions of dollars. But in crowded tournament fields, these great players rarely have the opportunity to compete against one another and the rest of the poker elite. So we've wondered, how would these players fare if their only competitors were the other giants of the game? Well, we're going to find out. Today, we're proud to announce the Onyx Cup, an elite series of high-stakes tournaments that will pit the great against the great. The Onyx Cup tournament series will feature the biggest buy-ins in the history of tournament poker, from $100,000 to $300,000. That's right, $300,000 with an estimated prize pool of more than $30 million across the series. The series is open to all comers and will consist of six No Limit Hold'em tournaments. Five preliminary events have buy-ins of 100 to 300 grand, while the grand finale will cost entrance a quarter of a million dollars and will have another one million added to the prize pool. The top three finishers in each event will earn points for the Onyx Cup leaderboard. At the end of the grand finale, the player who has acquired the most points will be crowned champion, presented with the Onyx Cup, receive a luxury sports car, and will be acknowledged as the player who conquers Poker's Elite. The tournaments will take place in various locations in the U.S., Europe, and Asia, and will be broadcast in more than 20 languages and 40 countries. Qualifying will take place exclusively at FullTiltPoker.net and will begin March 15th. So to discuss the Onyx Cup Series, I'm now joined by five members of Team Full Tilt, including Phil Ivey, who is widely considered the best poker player in the world. He has conquered every poker variation online and live, tournaments and cash games. Patrick Antonius has over $3 million in tournament winnings, but is best known as a cash game player. In these games, he has won millions more. Also joined by Gus Hansen, who has won numerous high buy-in tournaments. He has three WPT titles and one bracelet with total earnings of more than $9 million. Eric Seidel, who has been on a torrid run in the high-stakes world in 2011 alone, he has three major tournament victories and has banked over $4 million. The young man they call Durr, Tom Dwan, who is a regular in the highest stakes games around. He is among the most creative and unpredictable players the game has ever seen, and he is so confident in his abilities that he created a challenge that offers a seven-figure bonus to any player who can beat him in a sustained matchup. Playing just six events in the Onyx Cup Series is going to cost you right around a million dollars. So you guys think that's uh, going to be enough to get the blood pumping? Gets my blood pumping. I think it's more so, uh, uh, it's not just about the money. Uh, in this event, it's more about playing with the, the caliber of players that we're going to be up against. You know, playing against the best players, and a lot of these guys here at the table, my friends, and we're you know we're you know, we're friendly, but we're also super competitive against each other. And you know, there's going to there's going to be a lot of pride that comes along with winning this type of event. Is this a surprise to you guys, or do you think that with the way the game has been going and the way the stakes have been increasing, that this is just it was a matter of time before a, a circuit like this was created? I think it was just a. Uh just a matter of time. It's, it's been too many years that poker has been going, running the same cycle, and uh, and just, really, just needed to step a little bit further. Well, I, I do think it's a natural progression because uh, there's uh, so much money around and people are playing for such high stakes that it, w it was inevitable, and I think that Full Tilt was uh, really the only... Uh, online organization that could pull this off because they have all the best players in the world. Mm -hmm. Is there is there pressure? I mean, you guys are all considered some of the best in the world. Is there pressure that other people might not feel to perform, especially in an, in a series like this, where you know you, you feel like maybe in order to maintain that reputation, I've I've got to make a strong showing. I think there's always going to be a pressure in in a big tournament like that, but uh, that's the reason why at least these four players are sitting around the table because they are able to handle that pressure in those situations. So uh, I think a lot of uh, tough competitors, they thrive in those situations. I mean, they perform their best when there's a lot of pressure on. What are your feelings as far as the field is concerned? Do you guys think that the Onyx Cup Series is going to have the highest percentage of poker professionals that are going to register in, in perhaps the history of tournament poker? I think there will definitely be less amateurs that want to you know, 
play for 100,000 when they hear that right away, but as the events start happening and people start seeing the fields and they see people that they want to play with and stuff, it could easily grow in a way like the World Series did. And you might have, you know, maybe in 2013 there will be 12 events. Who knows? How important is it for you guys to have a vehicle that is universally regarded as the means by which you guys are going to be able to assess and determine who the best in any particular year is? Who's, who the best in the world is going to be for 2012, for 2013? Is that something that, that carries some weight that you guys are, are always looking to determine? Well, I mean, um, it's pretty obvious that uh, Phil Ivey is number one, so I'm looking for second. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to throw in the needles. He just can't help himself. But, you know, right now people talk about the all-time tournament, you know, winnings list, and Eric obviously being first right now and Phil being second. Now... We're giving people an opportunity to play six of these things in the course of one calendar year. And is it going to be fair to say that you guys are going to have a tremendous amount of respect for whoever wins the Onyx Cup? There's never been a series of tournaments like this where it's just the elite of the elite. And so it's going to get everybody's blood flowing. I would say there's never been a series of tournaments or even a tournament that's made you even consider or like add to, add to your respect of someone all that much. Because one tournament, yeah, some, maybe someone played good, but... In any one tournament, obviously, I think like the cards that you get and stuff are very, very relevant. Whereas in this, you're going to have a bunch of high buy-in events, and someone who does really well in all of those, it's going to be a new kind of thing. We're going to have a tremendous amount of respect because they know we know that they had to grind and play really tough to beat us. It's going to be virtually impossible for somebody to fluke their way into an Onyx Cup, isn't it? to win the series. Oh, it will be a great, great player who wins it, for sure. So let me get right to it. Other than yourselves, who do you guys think is the favorite to win the very first Onyx Cup Series? I guess Eric will have to be the favorite now. I mean, <laughs> Please. <laughs> for sure you have to be the favorite. I, I think the answer to the question is not a name. As you said, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough test to, to do well, compete well, uh, play well, uh, have stamina to... Uh, make the right decision for six tournaments in a row. So it doesn't necessarily have to be one specific name, but one who's capable, who has the skills when the cards are dealt at the poker table to play well throughout all events. Do you think that it's one of the greatest tests, if not the greatest test, in the history of poker? Here you have six tournaments with stacked with all the greatest players, so I think it's, uh, it's really going to be an excellent tournament. Uh, I'm looking, really looking forward to it. I am very excited about it. I think that what's unique about this event is that you've got um, players like like Tom, like Patrick, like Gus, and Phil, who sometimes uh, don't want to get on an airplane to get a, to to play in these uh, ten thousand dollar buying events because it just doesn't make financial sense for them because they're playing for hundreds of thousands and millions every day. So this is a tournament big enough that will draw all the best players in the world. So I think that's incredibly exciting, and I think, I think the whole poker world is going to be very excited about this. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining us for this Q&A, and I want to thank those of you at home for joining us as well, and we look forward to seeing you all here in Las Vegas in May for the very first Onyx Cup Series event. Qualifying will take place exclusively at FullTiltPoker.net and will begin March 15th.